So I start filling it up and now I think if I continue a little bit more I should be able to see it here. So on top I have this funnel and it should come out from here. If you see I think the level is rising up and if I add a little bit more it should come out. And if you if you don't know this this snow blower is on a flat surface. So if I use my finger test, yep, it's all, almost here. Basically, I'm going to add the remaining. And so it, this box has now very tiny amount left, 20 ounces. And if you see, I added a little bit extra, so it's coming out. Now what I will do, I'm going to remove this funnel, okay, let it drip out, the whole thing remaining, and see if it's flowing out. So I put in some extra. So one more thing it says like do not let the oil or grease touch the tire. So make sure this dripping oil is not all over the rubber tires otherwise it's gonna slip on the ice so right now it's a very tiny amount this is still flowing out and I will let it leak but now this is the time I'm going to use my dip stick and see how it is Okay, and I will repeat this dip stick measurement. Right now it's cold. When I start, and I will let it. I will stop after it's really warm up. Then stop and let it cool down five ten minutes. So it means the oil will settle down by gravity in the in the bottom of the engine and then I will take another measurement so I think it is still oozing out slowly which is now I think is good enough I'm gonna put the plug back this one here Okay, so it's done. I'm gonna wipe it clean. Okay, and I will take this and get another rag to keep it clean. Thank you.
make sure this apply. Nothing is going on the pulleys. Should not be. Nothing good. All right. Now I will do the test to see the level of the depth stick. And okay, where it says caution, I see dry, and where it says full, is full. So this is good. I don't have to drain any more oil. It's on the full level. And always do not overfill with the oil. Any engine is not going to move around in the engine if it's overfill because it need, the base on the design it has to have some space to spin it. Alright guys, I think this oil part is done. Everything is done except the skid shoes. I'm not going to worry about right now. I'm going to first start it, see everything is good. Uh, one more inspection and then I'll start. I'm going to start by pulling the cord, not the electric, to see if cord works. Because most of the time in the field, you, you're not going to have the electric cord long enough to start it. So this is very important. But if it's inside the garage in the morning and you just Want to, if you have a luxury of a power cord, then you can start it and then you should be good to go. Um, I'm going to test it and then I'll give you another video. Bye.